Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program, and today we are continuing the Crown Tundra DLC 2 guides with Garchomp. So Garchomp is a long-awaited one. It's, you know, a pretty fan-favorite Pokemon. Um, it's a very good Dragon Ground typing Pokemon. Dragon Ground being pretty alright, you know, one four times weakness to Ice, which is really unfortunate, especially with Lando going around as well. Ice is a very prevalent typing to have on your team. Uh, most teams will have some form of ice across the board um, but you also have two regular weaknesses of dragon and fairy which are both very prevalent as well but one immunity of electric which is also very prevalent and then three resistances of fire poison rock um, so you know not a bad typing not a great typing defensively um, but really good offensively and also just like pretty good defensively you, you know like the ice four times is really bad but that's like you know it is what it is um, dragon ground typing is pretty interesting though uh, its ability rough skin is pretty cool you know, it's not like crazy, but it's like cool. Uh, whenever you are hit by an attack with physical contact, you deal one eighth of their maximum hit points back as recoil. So that's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not bad at all, actually. It's like a good typing uh, or a good ability. Its other ability is pretty cool, Sand Veil, but you're not going to use it unless you have Sandstorm somewhere on your team because you're usually not going to be setting. Um, you're like, I mean, I guess you can Dynamax this Pokemon and use Max Rockfall because it uses Rock Slide, but I don't know. Probably not. Um, anyway. Garchomp's pretty good. Let's talk about its, uh, stats. Why can I think of that? Let's talk about its stats before I move on. So, HP at 108, defense at 95, and special defense at 85. Not necessarily bulky, but not necessarily not bulky. Um, you know, pretty average, or like a little above average natural bulk, especially on the physical side. So, um, you know, you have very safe resisted hits. Um, switching this in on resisted hits can usually be pretty easy. Um, and obviously, switching it in on electric is good. Um, but yeah, pretty good defensive typing, especially if you Dynamax. As long as you're not getting hit by an ice type move, you're usually going to take, uh, you know, one or two hits, which is really good. Um, so that is something good to note. Uh, special attack, nothing to write home about, but that's fine because we're going to be using its physical attack. Uh, its offensive stats are pretty solid. Attack at 130 is very good, and then speed at 102 is very good as well. So, um, you know, leaning into its more so important move, uh, stats, which is just speed and attack. So, pretty good stuff. There's multiple ways of using this, you know, with its pretty decent natural bulk plus assault vest and investment. It can be pretty bulky. You're still going to be using it as mostly a hyper offense mon, but it will you know, have some bulk to it, which is really good then. And then you could also just go attack and speed and go focus ash or choice scarf or something um, and use it that way as well. So there's multiple different ways. So let's talk about it. I have two VGC prepared, two VGC builds prepared, um, one with a much more educated spread, um, giving it pretty good bulk in general with the assault vest. And then the other one is choice scarf, um, which you could use Focus Sash and Protect instead, and we'll talk about that. So, uh, for the first build, I have Garchomp at Choice Scarf. This is going to be the max attack and max speed build, just to be as fast as possible. Um, my speed tiers don't reflect the Choice Scarf, um, as you'll see later on in this video, but pretty much it's just this guy's fast um, with Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf makes it really good. You have fast rock slides, which is obviously very good. Hitting flinches everywhere is pretty pretty cool you also have strong like dragon claw earthquake like iron head just like strong moves in general so fast strong moves in general which is really good uh choice scarf is currently the most used way to play it on picolytics um but i definitely think focus sash is another really good um way of using this build in sp in uh, particular um which i definitely think is good this Pokemon is really fast and really strong, especially with the Choice Scarf, so that's good. Um, as far as the moveset goes itself, I just went Dragon Claw, Earthquake for Dual Stab, Rock Slide, and Iron Head. Iron Head to hit those pesky fairy types, and Rock Slide just to be, you know, fast Rock Slide is really good, like I was saying. Um, I think there's a really good way to use it, but uh, like I said, you could also go like Focus Sash instead, and then go for a, um, you know, Protect instead of Iron Head, or Rock Slide, but probably Iron Head. Um, so yeah. Garchomp's pretty cool there. Then we also have the second build today, going to be featuring Assault Vest in a more educated spread. Um, and by more educated, I just mean like more complex. Uh, doesn't always make it better. So Garchomp at Assault Vest, rough skin, um, is going to be level 50. Oh, whoa, crazy. I didn't think about that. Whoops, my bad. Um, anyway, EVs at 100 HP, 68 attack, 4 defense, 84 special defense, and then 252 speed. So... Let me go ahead and explain this a little bit. It helped us live a guaranteed 
Um, max Starfall from Max Attack, Life Orb, Tapu Koko. Pretty good stuff with Assault Vest and 84 Special Defense. And then 100 HP as well, which is good. We can live a couple of physical attacks and stuff like that as well, which is cool. And if you go for Yachi Berry, you can live Max Hailstorms from Metagross, which is really good. So another option there is going for that um, Yachi Berry. So, you know, could be a cool thing. But then, you know, the the whole thing is going to change because then we don't live the Tapu Koko attack, which is half the reason. Anyway, pretty much what I'm saying is Garchomp Assault Vest can be pretty bulky and not a bad Pokemon, especially if you max it. Like, it can be a really good damage dealer still at 68 attack uh, if you max it. So that's cool. Um, anyway, uh, for that, I just went with the same, like, the same spread of moves. Um, just Dual Stab, Rock Slide, and Iron Head. I think it's fine um, that way as well. So, uh, this is a pretty customizable Pokemon. Let me go ahead and talk about uh, some customizable moves instead. So, Stomping Tantrum is a good option. Uh, if you want a single targeting Earth uh, or Ground move instead of Earthquake, you do have Stomping Tantrum. Of course, we have the ability to max, so you can use like Earthquake as a single targeting if you max. But then, you know, you have to max this Pokemon then. So, it's not always super reliable. I just knocked over something, but oh well. Uh, Poison Jab, another good option. Bulldoze can be cool for like self proc weakness policy stuff. You're probably not going to use that for Garchomp, but I still thought it was like cool to have Bulldoze, so I mentioned it. Um, Brick Break is good here as well, being able to break screens. Shadow Claw is good coverage. We're probably not going to use it ever, but it is there. Same with Crunch. And then Swords Dance is the last move here for uh, coverage. It's not actually not a coverage move, it's a utility move, but still, it's pretty good. Swords Dance, though, in this Pokemon could be pretty powerful. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the VGC build. Uh, Synergetic Pokemon, I didn't add any, but there are definitely some. I mean, you can go like things like Rotom or, or um, Tapu Koko with Discharge and not be able to hit this Pokemon. And then just hit your opponent's Pokemon and hope for Paralyzes. That could be cool. Um, there's a lot of things, like there's a lot of Pokemon that Garchomp kind of works with. You know, things that have that um, like an electric um, weakness that you just want to be able to switch in Garchomp for. That could be good as well. If your team like doesn't really care about Ice Pokemon... Um, then you can bring this Pokemon in, you know, it's just like options. Um, also if your team can't deal with like Dragapult, then you can use Garchomp. Like there's a lot of different things that Garchomp can do, um, that are good for the team. Anyway, that is it for that. Let's talk about speed tiers. So the speed tiers that I, um, wanted to highlight one were the like base instead of with choice scarf. So, uh, it's at 169, which is a very comfortable speed tier. You know, I'm speeding a lot of really good Pokemon. Charizard, the new Zapdos Galar, Tapu Lele, Arcanine, Tapu Lele if it's not scarfed, um, Lando T if it's not scarfed, Excadrill if it's not in its weather, Tapu Finny, Duraludon, uh, Togekiss. You know, the list goes, goes on. A lot of really good Pokemon in that, um, you know, 130 to 170 range. So, Garchomp outspeeds a lot of good Pokemon. Unfortunately, there is a lot of 170 to 200 range Pokemon. Things like like Nihiligo, Blacephalon, Terrakion, Kartana, Durant, Ninetales, Alola, Cinderace, Duraludon. I said Duraludon for no reason. Um, Dragapult, uh, Choice Scarf, Dracovish. There's a lot of Pokemon in that range. But yeah, Char Garchomp is pretty fast. With Choice Scarf, however, let me go ahead and pull my calculator so I can just make sure I'm right. 169 <laughs> times 1.5. Boom, 253.5. It's really only being outsped by uh, weather boosted Pokemon. Most Scarf Pokemon won't be outspeeding it. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. I like Garchomp at Scarf, it's pretty good too. Um, anyway, that is it for that. Let's go ahead and talk about some speed. Uh, ooh, damage Calcs. Anyway, Damage Calcs. Guard Chomp, Earthquake. This is after an Intimidate. This is Wild Max Attack, though. So, this is like a Focus Sash build or a, like, you know choice scarf build or something uh intimidated earthquake into a 236 hp for defense not very bulky physically but you know it's it's incineroar it's very bulky um and after an intimidate hitting 46 to 55 which is an almost uh like a pretty high chance 64.5 chance to to hit kale um which is very good like i i think that's a like a pretty good calc um so i just wanted to mention that and then we have garchomp rock slide into tornadoes taking a uh, guaranteed two hit ko here which is not bad, like, uh, fast rock slides against, like, good Pokemon is, is, like, pretty good, you know, you're gonna hit be hitting a lot of Intimidates and stuff, uh, not Intimidates, Flinches, uh, which is pretty good, I keep getting my words mixed up today, I don't know why, um, but yeah, it can be good against Tornadus, uh, for rock, like, fast rock slides, hitting Flinches and stuff could be cool, I mean, obviously the thing has Prankster, so it's gonna hit you first most of the time, but whatever, um, Dynamax, Dragapult, Max, Wormwood, 
with life war boost into 100 hp for defense dynamax garchomp this is the defensive build um or the bulky more bulky build hits 72 to 85 which is guaranteed to hit kale which is pretty good i like that calc um next we have the garchomp returning calc though so uh yeah dragapult max warm wind doesn't kill you but then garchomp with helping hand boosted max warm wind at only 68 attack into a dynamax dragapult is hitting 112 to 132 which is guaranteed oko so it claps back pretty hard especially like i mean yeah you need helping hand but still it's a good clap back and then next we have one of the main calcs that I did for the defensive build. Um, 252 special attacking life orb Tapu Koko Max Starfall into our boy Garchomp. With 100 HP and 84 special defense and assault vest, this is capable of living that 83.6 to 99.4 guaranteed to a KO. Your opponent's going to be like, haha, got him. Boom. You lived. Got him. Next we have Garchomp Earthquake into that Tapu Koko. This should have been Max, um, Max Quake. But, uh, you know, raw, just Earthquake, hits 87 to 104, which is really good. But, and that's only with 68 attack. But if you max, um, you are killing it. So, yeah, the clap back is, once again, clap back. Easy. Uh, yeah, that's about it for our damage calcs. Not too much more to say there. Garchomp's pretty cool. Anyway, let's talk about a single spotlight build before I end the video. So, uh, Life Orb, Rough Skin, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Store, and Swords Dance. Um, pretty good stuff there. Life Orb just to boost your damage. Uh, your EV spread is going to be 252 into attack and speed. And then Jolly Nature giving it as fast as possible. Plus speed minus special attack. So this Pokemon can just be as fast as possible. Hitting pretty hard. Earthquake, Stone Edges, Stealth Rocks as Setup Hazard. And then Swords Dance whenever your opponent has to switch out. You get a, you get a free turn to just go plus 2 and kill everything. Looking pretty good. I like Garchomp a lot. I think it's probably really strong in singles, it seems like. Um, I'm not a very big singles player, so not very good at singles. Um, but I still think it's a, it seems very promising. Um, but in VGC, I definitely like this Pokemon a lot. Uh, I've liked it a lot um, in past gens as well. It's been on one of the teams that I've been using a lot in prep of Series 7. So definitely, you know, be on the lookout. We're going to be seeing some Garchomp here soon. And I think this Pokemon is pretty cool. Anyway, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me for sure. Um, also, you know, follow the socials. Jump on, jump on over to Twitter. Follow me. All those links will be down in the description below. Watch me live on Twitch every day at 6 p.m. Almost every day. I have to say almost because I skip days. Um, but yeah, almost every weekday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, yeah, do all those things. Have a great weekend. Uh, I guess it, the weekend's no longer. I'm filming. The, I'm recording this before the weekend. That's why I say have a good weekend. Uh, but have a good week and goodbye.